Hey YouTube, it's that dude named Dave and welcome to my channel. And if you've been here before, welcome back. Before we get started, we have to do my price of admission. Like, subscribe, and the bell notification below. You guys are watching my videos, but everyone is still not sub yet. So let me help you by helping me out here, give you guys a few seconds to do this. Okay, we have that out the way, no long intros. Today's video, we're coming back to Kendra G. You saw the title, you see the thumbnail five kids and I refuse to settle. So let's get to the video and we're going to try to make this make sense. Okay. What's your name, boo? Lori. Lori, where are you calling us from? Uh, Atlanta, Georgia. Atlanta, Georgia. How Atlanta, y'all. 34. 34. You seem so much younger. 34. I, I get that a lot. <laughs> okay. Talk louder for me, okay? Okay. 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 That's better. You must have had something in your, in your volume. Hello, Probably bring so. your phone down just a tad bit. All right, here we go. Lori, Atlanta, Georgia, 34. What do you do for a living? I work for the post office. Post office. Look, stop. Mel stop. There's I'm always work at the post I'm office. Who knows kids. that line? <laughs> I'm going to whoop your asses, okay? Stop mailing me. Ooh, uh, you know, if I could, if I get a dollar every day for somebody saying that, I would be probably rich right now. Like it's crazy. <laughs> I get that every day. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, <laughs> I, this is Lori in Atlanta, Georgia. Works at the post office. Thirty four. Do you have any kids? Yes, I have five kids. Um, most of them are adult, like grown kids. So. Grown. You really have five kids? Yes, I do. <laughs> wait, 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 family. You're thirty four. You have five kids. And she said, most of them are already grown. What, you having kids at 12, 13 years old? Let's find out more about these kids here. Let's get back to the video, y'all. <laughs> was you once married? Um, no, I wasn't married. Not married? Are they all by the same man? Yes. Same guy though. Okay, what's the ages, Lori? Okay, 17. here we go. 17, I have a 14 You got a baby when you were 16? Yes, I did. Okay, so 17. Yeah. Um, 17, 14, um, I have 11 year old, a four year old and, um, no, a five year old and then a four year old, a five year old and a four year old. Hold on here. Hold on. Okay. Let me see if I got this right guys. 17, 14, 11, five and four, 34 years old which means that you were having babies at 16 years old. So the first one, then the, your 14, the 14 year old means that you had her at 19, 20, or him or her at 20. Why is women, they're all by the same guy. Why is women not requiring more in relationships? You're okay of giving this man five babies and you're not okay with actually being a wife. And then now you're not together. Make this make sense here that she's calling to a dating show with one man for five kids and then require marriage. We know what this is here, but let's get back to the video. Let's see if this gets any worse here. Yeah. And it's all by the same guy. Yep. And you guys didn't get married. Why? I mean, we were supposed to, but it just didn't work out. So. When was you supposed to? Why didn't to? work out? When did you... You had um, five kids by him. He started cheating on me, so it was just like I had to wrap. It was he started cheating because he also had the kid with somebody else. Um, when my last child was born, so it was just done. Well, why did you have five kids with him before? I mean, after one or two kids, you should have been right, yeah. right. So after I mean, one, just, Kendra, I, I stood through it. I tried to, you know, we try to work it out. Um, it's been a while. Like we, it's just. I don't know. It's just a lot of complications. Does he want to work things out with you? Um, we decided that we we're just gonna co-parent, so that that was it. And when did you when did you end that relationship? Um, that relationship ended about two years ago. So you've been done. So y'all haven't been in a relationship in two. Years. Wait a minute. So she broke up with her ex when her youngest one was two years old. See, this is what I'm trying to understand. And we're, we're having these discussions about modern women, especially here in the black community. You're on a dating show. You are looking to date. I don't, we're gonna get into the video to see what further attention you're looking for. But any man that sees you have five kids by 34, how come you didn't marry that man? Okay, the first one came in high school. After that point here, I can understand kids making mistakes, not being under the right tutelage, uh, some, you know, whatever, the parents are not around, whatever the case may be. 
15, 16 years old, it shouldn't be this way, but I can excuse the one. The other four? What are you thinking, ladies? How many videos have I done? Three kids, four kids, five kids, and you're still not requiring marriage. You would rather have babies than have the stability of a home. You kept saying, we tried to work it out. No, you didn't. You didn't try to work it out. Where is the marriage proposals here? We need details, Kendra. We need you to dig down deep because of any woman calling like this here, this should be an admonition on her and her requirements instead of her looking for another man. But let's continue on this video here. Yes. Yeah, right. No, no relationship. Lori, this is a lot. I know. It is a lot. <laughs> this is a lot. I mean, you have one child that's almost out the house, but then you got... Well, let's continue. Let's continue. Okay. Um, have you learned anything from that situation? Um, oh, Kenny's asked some questions here. That, um, don't settle. Like, I won't be settling for just anybody or anything. Or, you know, I think that I've learned a lot in that relationship that it just, um, just settling is not just something I won't do no more. So let me ask you this. Wait, before Kendra gets into it here, I'm pausing a lot you will not settle do you understand that any man situation is settling for you you have five kids and then she's trying to minimize these kids are grown no you have one at 17 that could be a junior or senior in high school the 14 year old what eighth grade ninth grade so you still a man has to come in and take care of a freshman in high school what the 11 year olds were in fifth grade and a five and four year old what one is not even in school yet the one maybe starting preschool or kindergarten we can't make this up thinking that you're settling. No, a man is coming in to be stepdaddy. He's going to have to have enough finances and resources to provide not only for you, but your five kids. Now, the father could be in the picture, but what happens when the kids are at home when you two are together? You're cutting the check. It doesn't matter. So let's see what Kendra's going to say here more. Let's get back to the video. Was he cheating throughout the whole situation or just in the um, end? After the third child, um, it became more of a, like, you know, cheating and, you know, after the third child, certain things that I wasn't comfortable with, um, going out all the time and stuff. So I was just like, no, it's just not going to happen. Okay. Yeah. Lori, when's your birthday or Zodiac sign? Why the Zodiac? So I said, I might be pregnant. Yeah, <laughs> we're about to do uh, a pregnancy test. <laughs> I'm about to go to CVS while I'm on this line and go no, get one shot. Because no, you're fertile I'm as hell. But, um, I'm, I'm a Gemini. My birthday is June 4th. Okay. You're a Gemini. Um, mm -hmm. Well, you definitely look good. I'm like, you have five kids. Thank you. Thank you. See, I want to stop there because women do this all the time. I've come across so many conversations. We see a woman like this here, and she does look good for her age for a 34-year-old. She doesn't look like she's in her 30s. You know, she has that, you know, that young baby face type of thing going on here. But women use that as a qualifier. Oh, you look so good. You know, I don't get it. See, women put so much emphasis on your looks and not emphasis on other aspects that are red flags with this woman here. She sounds like she's nice. She sounds like she's sweet here, but there's a lot more going on to have five kids and the fact that she is not married and the fact that she is talking about she's not settling. When I hear this on a low key, she is putting on this baby face persona, but she might be a piece of work, you know? So we don't know that right now. There's so many sides to the story that, of course, she's going to show her best side here. But let's continue with the video. Let's see what Kendra's going to say next. Oh, I need to stop reading these comments. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, okay, this is Lori in Atlanta, 34, a Gemini, five children, post office. What kind of man are you looking for? Oh, here we go, y'all. Um, loyal, faithful man. Um, somebody that um, is just loving um what else uh supportive um just you know i guess just really cliche faithful being faithful you know so yeah could the guy have kids yeah mm -hmm. do you want more kids no no so you really want a guy that already has kids or has no desire well i, I feel like if a guy has no desire to want kids himself the fact that you don't want no kids and you got five kids can we immediately eliminate 
every single man that she wants and i think her category is going to be get back with your ex or choose the pookies and ray rays in your life but here's the thing though it sounds like her baby daddy is a pookie and ray ray because she admits that he was cheating during the third baby and the fact that he has another kid outside of the situation here so he has six kids total here right now so your situation here is go back to your ex and build this relationship here or be out here with pookies and ray rays right now until all your kids are out the house Plain and simple, because no man here is going to take on five kids and take you seriously, A. And then B, you can't have any more kids. Us men, we want to procreate. We want to find someone, especially if you're young here, that you want to have a family with here. Otherwise, you need to choose a man way older who is not thinking about kids right now. But I don't see here the type that wants an older man in her 50s or 60s. Do you guys think that? Let's get back to the video. So, would he want to date somebody with five kids? Because I, I feel know. like that guy doesn't want probably be around kids. So right. You want a guy that has kids already. Right. Yeah. Okay. Um, does he have to be in Atlanta? Um, no, not necessarily. No. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um. I'm stopping a lot in this video, and this is a great point why I'm stopping here. Women not requiring men to be close in the area. You want to know something? Unless you're planning to relocate, this is bad advice. You talk about you want someone who's loyal and faithful, but I'm going to be honest with you. If a man lives in another city, another town, another state, he is going to want some requirements at any given time. If he has to fly in to see you, he's only giving attention at certain amounts of time. What happens to those other times when he's not around? And the same goes for women too, when the guy's not even the same town as well. We have seen many times, especially in one of my videos where that a woman says, well, he don't have to be here, but then she's rocking with another guy in the streets here on a Friday night. You see, this is bad. This is bad, people. You want the person in your vicinity. Unless you're planning on relocating and moving, there is going to be no faithfulness here if someone either or side of the gender is in a different state. Let's get back to the video. Does he have to look a certain way? Looks. Um, I mean, I'm not picky. So um, let's see. No, not really. He doesn't have to look a certain way. So I'm 5'2". So I don't oh, you're want short. somebody that's super taller than me. So yeah. Okay. She's 5'2". Yeah. Does he have to make a certain amount of money? Um, no, not necessarily. At least okay. it's not a hundred thousand, y'all. Um, you said he can't have kids. That doesn't bother you. When was your last relationship? Um, my last relationship, well, I, well, with the kid's dad. That's really my serious last relationship. But, um, I just been talking on and off with certain people. So probably last Buns year. Buns being glazed. Year or so. So, okay. Yeah. You got to answer this question, but I'm gonna ask. When okay. was the last time you was intimate with someone? um maybe two months ago two months two ago, months ago. Okay, was that person an option uh, yes but i mean but. It just i don't know it just didn't work out <laughs> why did he tell you why why didn't um, work out i think it was me i'm the one that was like no i wasn't gonna it was like you? i said i don't settle i don't want to settle for nothing so if it wasn't showing the same vibe that i'm showing them then i just had to cut it off like i'm not about to waste my time no more what okay okay yeah. what would you say to the guy wait do you see this here this is why we miss kevin samuels here kendra you're gonna immediately move on to the next question seriously she openly admitted you know what maybe it was me the last guy that i had sex with was two months ago and i think that i don't have to settle why you think you don't have to settle next question is what was wrong with this man why did you think you have to run out the door you already gave him your body but now you're saying that you don't want to settle here here's the thing the guy got what he wanted now you think you ran off here the situation is i'm looking at it that maybe he just wanted some buns glaze and he kept it moving here because we can see that probably you're not serious and don't know what you're looking for so kendra we cannot let this go for further here you cannot say oh it maybe was me and then you say like, okay next question this is how we're not keeping these women accountable the fact that she has five kids and she's a mother in this fashion here, we need deeper dive information here from this here. Because if you're trying to do a dating show, these are things that men want to know. Whether you have zero kids or five kids, we need additional follow-ups here instead of moving on to the next here. No accountability here. And that's what we're seeing. Let's get back to the video. I that Because I think you're definitely attractive, right? Thank so, you. you know, I, I, I don't <laughs> think you ever have a problem attracting men. But... <laughs> 
you might have you, there might be some caution with men that might be ready to settle down with the woman that has five children. So what do you say to the guy? Good point. That's like, I think she's cute. I like her, but I can't do it with five kids. What will, what will be your response? That's fine. I mean, I don't blame that person at the end of the day. But I also have older kids, which where, you know, I'm not like older always, kids can't go nowhere, can't do nothing. You know what I mean? So um, and the plus the kid's dad is involved in their life. So it's not like, you know, he he gets them every other every other weekend and sometimes throughout the week. So it's not like if you can't deal with it, you can't deal with it. If you can, you can. So and one thing I that makes no sense what you said here. They are not grown. You got one that's 17 years old. The rest are in middle school, probably going to high school and elementary school. And the youngest one is probably hasn't even started kindergarten yet. You see how she's trying to minimize her situation. They are not grown. These are kids in school, elementary school. The, you know, the, the, the oldest one, yes. But do we see how she's quick to throw this one out the door here? You know, like as far as parents, it's like, OK, we got a junior and senior and got to prep for college and things of that nature. That's what you do when you have a wife and a husband. But she's automatically saying, oh, they're grown. You got to worry about it. I got time here. Their dad is with them every other weekend and a few times during the week. Still, you know, what that means every other weekend. I got to know that these kids are around all day long, guys. This is what we're calling step daddy season. And she's trying to minimize her requirements and the time that she has with all her kids. Kendra, you need to ask more questions. We need more follow-ups here. You got to hold these women accountable here. Let's continue on more of this video. I will say they're all by the same man. That's why I'm surprised y'all yeah. married. I know. Like, but I, like think, I said, I we were close. That, I think the lesson close. that you probably, I was hoping you would have said is that maybe I should have required him or could thought about marriage before maybe baby mm. number th before three, baby number yeah. three got here. Like, right. Three, no, two, two Kendra. Third baby, are we getting married or not? Right. No, exactly. Yeah, because because now you want a guy and you're telling him you're not. Gonna I'm stopping again. This is bad advice, Kendra. This is bad advice. The first kid came in high school. The second kid came at twenty. You had was it seventeen and fourteen? You had three years gap between the two kids here. I know that this woman probably was not raised possibly in the right surroundings in her household to have five kids by the same man and don't require marriage. But after the first one, that was it. You should have made requirements on him. You had the second one at 20. After the second one here, that should have been it. Baby factory closed down till you put a ring on it. That is at the most. You're going to say three. Next, you know, you're going to say four or five. No, accountability. You have the one mistake. You can say mistake or issue in high school now you're an adult now we need women to be have smarter situation make smart decisions on their situations all right i know i stopped let's let kendra continue i'm not gonna have no more kids so we got he has to already have kids right 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 um there was something else i was gonna ask you about that oh so do you want to get married I do. I do okay. want to get married. So, some, <laughs> so sometimes, like, one guy says something, and I'll never forget it. Um, he was telling me that when he accepts a woman with children, he is coming in with the mindset of a, being a provider. You know? Right. So um, if a guy comes to your life and, and y'all were to get married, y'all live together, will he be able to discipline your children? Um. He, Here we go. Yes and no. It depends on what kind of discipline, though. If you're going to, you know, put them in a corner, you know, tell them, hey, what they did was wrong or whatever, that's fine. But as far as actually physically putting your hands on them, I'm like, uh, I don't know. Okay. Okay. Yeah. You see, there's a problem there about being a stepdaddy. You have all the financial responsibilities of being dad, but you don't have all the equipment to be a full-time dad now there are certain levels of physical punishment you know some people don't believe in spanking anymore but there are other things that you can do maybe you got to grab a wrist you got to grab a hand or something like that you got to put them in a corner there's but here's the thing a man should be allowed to discipline kids in the household as he sees fit because he's the head here and he these kids have to know uh, the roles and responsibilities of everybody in the household here. So the woman is basically telling you guys, you know what, though, you can you know, you can scold them a little bit, you could do it, but no, you can't do nothing else here. So, you know, this is going to create 
this creates a dynamic of imbalance where the kids will not respect that man who will eventually be stepdaddy because they know at the end of the day he can't go full discipline they know that their mother will come through and save the day let's 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 play a little bit more of this video here all right let's do it Lori. why do you think you're single Mm. Um, why do I think I'm single? Because, um, I just, I guess I don't, I don't really like to go out much. You know, I'm always in the house. Um, I'm just, I'm a homebody. So I think maybe that's why I don't really talk to people as much. You know, I'm, I'm at either at work or I'm home. So, okay. yeah. All right, she's at work and she's at home. Why would a guy be lucky to be with you? Um, he'll be lucky because I'm a very sweet, nice, faithful girl. Um, I I cook, I clean, I do everything. You know, it's just I don't know. I just don't get out much to actually conversate with people to for them to know. Okay. Yeah. All right, let's do it. This is Lori in Atlanta, Georgia. So the guy that's Okay, I'm gonna stop the video here. I know Kendra's gonna go down and run ass for her IG and things of that nature, her communication. So guys wanna shoot their shot at her. But why did I bring this video to the tribe? To the faithful subscribers here that rock with me here. Here is another woman who is not thinking logically about her situation. She literally stated that she is not settling, but Kendra is not giving the proper follow-up questions that us men are seeing when we watch these type of shows here that a man is settling for you. You have five kids. You can say that the man is paying child support or that the you know your baby's father is involved in their lives and he sees them every other weekend a couple of times during the week. But the key is that if a man wants to marry you, these the days that you have these kids, those five kids plus you and plus him are in the household. So we're talking about taking care of seven people. That is a huge financial responsibility for a man who are these kids are not even his own. So the fact that you had one man with five kids here, a man is automatically going to assume what is wrong with you that you didn't require marriage here. You have this many kids. You have a freaking family here. Why don't you go ahead and lock it down and go on with the rest of your days here? But no, you didn't require that. You kept having baby after baby after baby. And then at this point here, the guy did not respect you. He knew that he didn't need much requirements. I'm not going to excuse him cheating, but we know that when a woman doesn't put her requirements out there and put the emphasis on her family, it gives the other person the way out. So ladies, you cannot think that five kids and you're going to thinking that I'm not settling. You should be happy for the fact that a man wants to rock with you. No one, this many responsibilities here. Women do not think like men and we see things totally differently. So men, you see the situation here, run for the hills. We are not doing stepdaddy season. You cannot discipline these kids here. You have the total financial responsibility that goes along with this. And on top of that, you cannot have any more kids. This is the problem here that we're seeing with modern women here. It's this thing that keeps growing and growing. And you know what, guys? Do we see it getting any better? I don't. But that's why we have these discussions and we have these panels so that we can be smarter and recognize these red flags so that we don't fall down and rock with women like this here, unfortunately. Could be someone nice and sweet, but she is not someone that we can build with here because she got so much attachment to her ex here. And whatever's going on with that situation, we all feel you need to make that work. Comment, like, subscribe, click on the bell notification below. I want to know what you guys think about this video here. What do you think about this girl looking for another man? What do you think about Kendra? The no follow-up questions. We thought she was getting better, but we're not seeing any more accountability. She kind of slipped back in this video here. So we're seeing the sister code exist. So what do you think about Kendra? And what do you think about my commentary? But until next time, I'm that dude named Dave. See y'all later, YouTube world.